Hey there guys, what's going on? I'm Arrow in the Neon. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new teaser for Five Nights at Freddy's 4 and we're going to have a little bit of a talk about what could be coming in Five Nights at Freddy's 4 and what this all means. It's going to be good. I'm excited for Halloween which is on the 31st of October of course. Um, and after that game we will be seeing the movie which is going to be great. So we're going to have a look at the, the first, the brand new picture that was released a couple of days ago. Uh, for Nightmare Chica, looks really amazing, got some evil teeth, ready for the bio of 87. Um, we've also, in the background, if you look really carefully, we have a very, very evil looking cupcake. I am so excited, maybe cupcakes are going to start eating people, I have no idea. Was it the cupcake? I don't know. So, it seems that this game is going to be touching upon the bite of 87, which has been a massive point of um, theories. I mean, we've barely had anything about the Bite of 87, and now we're pretty much going to be having an entire game um, put into it. And since this is going to be the last game, it's the, uh, the final chapter, and the movie will be coming a bit further after, it seems that we will be looking at the Bite of 87 and the aftermath of that, which should be pretty damn good. Uh, I'm hoping the movie isn't bad, uh, uh, I'm, I'm worried about that, I'm worried about that. But yeah, um, with the uh, was it me that you see in every one of these pictures, you've pretty much got, hmm, was it me? It sounds like a detective thing, I am excited. Maybe we'll have some Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney mis mystery solving going on. I would actually like to go around the, um, around the pizzeria and have a look around, and then you've got to go into the, uh, the scary, I'd like that, that'd be nice. Do a night, and then you got to go mystery solving. I would enjoy that. And when you actually think about it, you've got the old uh, teeth right there. They are pretty big. You know, when they say, oh man, there was a bite in 87, I'm like, oh man, those teeth, they must have, you know, regular teeth. I think of regular teeth. In fact, if you look back to Five Nights at Freddy, the first one, the teeth weren't that big. I was like, oh man. They got bit by that. That kind of sucks a little bit. But then you look at these. You look at Nightmare Chica. You look at Nightmare Freddy and... Blah! It does not look good. It looks like the bite of 87 literally would liquefy the person. So I can see why it's actually a massive point of contention and why people talk about it a lot in the games because, oh my god, if you get bitten by... Yeah, you, you, you're not gonna... You know, I don't think he's surviving that. Yeah, it's a bit of an accident. A tiny bit of an accident. I think that's why in the uh, the future games they've um, they've sorted out the teeth. <laughs> God, I I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to have animatronics have teeth like that. It was not a good idea, guys. Oh dear God. So guys, um, thanks for watching this. It's just a little bit of a look into. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Four, which I'm so goddamn excited for. I hope you guys are excited for it too. Uh, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel for more jazz like this. And more Five Nights at Freddy's games, and more horror games, and more jazz that I do in general. So, thanks for watching, guys. Much love. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.